What do you think of when you hear Japan? Kimono, rice, or the beautiful scenery of each season? Well, there is also one thing you should absolutely not forget soba. Soba noodles are a lucky food in Japanese food culture and people eat them at wedding ceremonies or at parties. This video will introduce to you what soba noodles are. There are four elements we learn when it comes to soba noodles. Soba uchi, tsumagi, tsuyu, yakumi. We will introduce them one by one. Soba uchi. Soba uchi is the process of making soba noodles. Soba crops are harvested, threshed, ground, and then they become buckwheat. Then the buckwheat is put in a big mixing bowl and some water is added. After the water is thoroughly mixed with the buckwheat, the dough will gradually be made into one big ball. This ball is rolled out carefully. Using a rolling pin specially designed for rolling out soba dough, the ball should be rolled out as thin as possible. Finally, the dough is folded and cut into noodle shape with a soba knife called soba bocho. This process is known as soba uchi. Tsunagi. There are many varieties of soba noodles, depending on the taste or the recipe. The most popular one is Nihachi Soba. To make Nihachi Soba, 20% of wheat is mixed with 80% of buckwheat, and the wheat becomes a binding agent to stick the buckwheat together. There are also the famous Hegi Soba and Funori Soba which use high-quality seaweed called funori to bind the buckwheat together. In the past, funori was used to make the color brighter after kimono was dyed. It has a close relationship with the Japanese kimono culture. Tsumagi plays a role of binding agent to put buckwheat together. We hope you enjoy the differences in taste coming from the different tsumagi. Tsuyu can you guess what tsuyu is made from? Soy sauce? That is a good answer! Soy sauce is indeed used as the base, and dried seaweed and dried bonito are used to make the dashi. These are mixed together with sake and other seasonings, and it becomes tsuyu. Each soba noodle shop tries to make their own original tsuyu. Japanese people often drink sobayu, where the hot water used to boil the soba noodles is added to the tsuyu after the meal. This soba yu is very good for your health, so why don't you try it? Yakumi Yakumi helps accentuate the taste of soba noodles. Typical yakumi are wasabi, green onion, walnut, grated taro, and karashi, the Japanese mustard. Wasabi should be grated and can be eaten together with other yakumi. You can enjoy different kinds of flavor soba noodles with these yakumi. Let's try to figure out your favorite yakumi. How was it? There is much intricacy within the soba noodle. Each region in Japan has its own original soba noodles. Now we will introduce the best of the best soba noodle in all of Japan. Heki soba. These are the soba noodles eaten in Tokamachi city. They contain seaweed for their tsunagi and therefore have very firm texture and served in a bite-sized loop shape. Usually, a bamboo draining basket is used to serve soba noodles. But for hegi soba, soba noodles are served on a very unique wooden tray called hegi. That's how this type of soba noodles came to be called hegi soba. Tokomachi city in Niigata prefecture, where the hegi soba was born, is located in the center of the main producing region of the famous Uonomura Koshihikari rice. 
heavy snow and rich nature characterize this city. This is the place where the national treasure of flame pot earthenware from the ancient Jomon culture was excavated. This is the place where the world famous modern art festival Echigo Tsumari Art Triennial is held. Why don't you add Tokomachi City to your must-see place list in Japan? It is only two hours from Tokyo Station or Niigata Airport to come to the home of Hegisoba. Let's enjoy soba noodles in Tokomachi City.